In today's video, we're focusing on everyday brands that you can find at the thrift store to sell on eBay for a profit. My name is Margaret and I'm a full-time reseller. I am focusing on changing the way I'm thrifting to make sure that I'm making money. I have about 1,600 long tail items in my eBay shop already, so I am now thrifting more strategically to make sure that the things that I pick up are either big, high, or fast. And what I mean by that is that for me to pick this item up, it either has to be a big lot of items that I can part out over time for a lot of profit, an item that is high in profit that gives me a big high return on investment, or it has to be fast, something that I'm gonna pick up and it's gonna sell with me, within maybe a month. Again, I'm Margaret with my partner Juan. We have a combined 10 years experience being full-time resellers. We make videos just like this, helping resellers like yourself become more successful. If you're a new reseller or you're just wanting to ramp up your income, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the content that might help you reach those goals. Today I am at the Goodwill and I am looking for areas that I don't normally go to because as I said, I'm trying to pick up items that are going to bring a bigger return on investment or sell more quickly. I don't always find uh, lots at the Goodwill or thrift stores, but it isn't uncommon. Sometimes they're bagged up and you can find a lot of things to part out. If you're starting to follow this plan where you're looking for big, high and fast items, you're going to catch yourself going back to areas in the thrift store that you always go to. Nothing wrong with that, but definitely start looking in other areas. So when I catch myself looking at the same kind of things, I have to stop myself and remind myself, no, no, no. We're going to start looking for things that are big, high, and fast. So leave a comment down below. Let me know an area that you're going to start learning about that maybe you haven't dive, dove, dive, dove into yet. So I take myself over to the electronics area. I know there's a lot of money here. I just have to educate myself as to what to pick up. I know there's money in speakers. And so I take a look at this Altec speaker. This one says left on it. So that makes me believe that there should be a right. This is only part of a system, but that doesn't mean that there's no value in it. So we're gonna take a look at Altec. This particular speaker is selling. There's, there's 25 results for this up on eBay right now. And there are six sold. However, those six sold, some of them were parts, some of them were both. This is a sold for $27.99 for a pair. But I wanted to also dive into other Alltech speakers. So if you see that brand, you don't automatically assume that it's something that's not selling. As you can see, there are some really high, even parts of woofers that are marked Alltech that sold in the $199, $174. So if you see Alltech, definitely take a moment and look it up. So still in the electronics section, I see this GE digital clock. I know that there are money, that there are money, there is money in clocks, clock radios. It just depends on the model, the brand, and what have you. So this is a GE. So when I look up the GE clocks, I'm seeing that there are, it looks like 14 up for sale with GE digital clock radio. There are six sold. And I mean, they're, the selling rate on that one isn't great, but there are other GE clocks that sell for 50 plus dollars. So it's something that if you see it, take, take a moment and look up the model. That's the important part. So as you see here, there are some that sold for $30, $35. So staying with the electronics, I see that there's this Linksys uh, Wi-Fi router. And I know from personal experience that these Wi-Fi routers and boosters can be really expensive. So we're gonna take a look at this brand, Linksys. There are 116 up for this particular one. The one that's sponsored there is not the same but there were 116 up and there were 11 sold. And as you can see there, these ones are showing around $20 or so. But that being said, this brand is something that we can still look for. So like these are some other Linksys, uh, what are these, Wi-Fi systems that sold for two, uh, $199 or the other one was two, about $200. But as you can see, there are some that are worth looking up and I made sure to select pre-owned because it's different than if you're finding brand new in box ones. The next thing we're taking a look at here is something that Motorola put out and this is a, what is it? Surfboard wireless cable modem connection. Now this particular item isn't really something that's worth picking up. There's 129 of them listed and then there were about six that were sold and they were not selling for a whole lot. So that is something that I probably would not pick up. But like I said, I don't want to throw out the baby with the bathwater. There are Motorola things that would sell. So this is a vintage car, like an old car mobile phone. Here's another that was like an old flip phone. And then some people are selling Motorola razors. So seeing that Motorola, it's still worth looking them up. 
Next up is this Revlon uh, Hair Flat Iron. This particular one only was selling for about $12, but there are Revlon hair products or hair appliances that are worth a lot of money. I wanted to point out that there is a lot of money in some of these hair appliances. These ones that were from Revlon maybe were not selling for as much. I mean, there were a couple that were selling for a lot, but this holiday season, I'm not sure if you heard of this, but this is a Dyson, oh, how do you sell it? Cor Corelli? No, Cor anyway, this whole hair straightening system from Dyson was like this huge hit this year and there it was like $500 so look for that Dyson yes there's some L'Oreal flat irons this is a Rusk and then over here this one is a H2 Pro so there's money in hair appliances so if you see them they are worth stopping and just taking a peek at what brand what model they are Next thing I see here is an electric stapler. This is a Swingline Optima 45 and it is definitely worth the money. It does not have the plug with it, but that's something that's probably a pretty standard plug that can get that you can get. Swingline is one of the top of the line if you think stapler Swingline is is it. Uh, so there's 42 up for that. And then there were 14 sold on this one and they were selling for, you know, $25, $30. There was even one I think that sold for about $75 coming up here. So if you can get it for cheap enough, it's definitely worth picking up. But swing line staplers and staplers in general are worth double checking because here are some solds that sold for quite a bit of money. I mean, look at this Novus heavy duty long arm one for $112. This is an item that I like to sell locally. I don't normally pick them up from the thrift store, but I wanted to point that out to you. Um, these sell brand new for anywhere from $50 to $90. And these are those turf builder um, lawn spreaders. I pick them up from garage sales for $5 or under and sell them anywhere from $20 to $40, depending on the, some of them are better than others. And this is another thing. And this is a very large dog crate and it's missing the bottom tray. So that's one of the reasons I don't get it. But one of the, the large dog crates or the extra large dog crates, sometimes, I mean, I sell them for anywhere from $80 to $100. The smaller ones I get, I can sell $20, $30, $40, depending on the size. I picked these up. I, I picked up an extra large one similar to this at a garage sale for $20 and sold it for $80. So if you see these, whether at garage sales, the smaller ones, I probably wouldn't pay more than $3, maybe $5, because then you'd get uh, not quite as much for them. But it's definitely worth uh, taking a look at those if you're out and if you're comfortable selling locally. I did a video recently where I walk you through a little more step-by-step -step how I'm looking things up on the spot. So I wanted to do a quick refresher on this one. So like a book like this on the eBay app, there is a barcode scanner so you can scan it and it'll pop up that uh, item. And then you can look at the solds and compare how many are up versus how many are sold. I will say though, when you scan the barcode, sometimes you miss some of the items that are up on eBay because if they don't enter in the UPC, there might be items up there that um, that the that the sweep doesn't pick up because it, the person didn't enter in the UPC. So it's not always 100% accurate, but it can give you a pretty good idea of what the item is and how to look it up. This is another item that normally I don't pick up. It was missing some of the bits and I couldn't really find a good comp on this one. So this DeWalt um, bits I left behind. But as you can see, there are DeWalt bit sets and things of that nature that are worth a lot of money. So that's a set that was worth 50 bucks that sold. This is another uh, electrician's whole saw kit that sold for 53. And here's another one that sold for 54. You don't have to know exactly what something is to be able to look it up and see if it's worth a profit. I know sometimes it might be a little more daunting if you don't know anything about, like I don't know anything about DeWalt bits and things of that nature, but that uh, shouldn't stop us from looking things up because there's money everywhere, even in toy cars. So I'm looking up this to see if it's worth anything and it's really not, but it is definitely worth looking up toy cars because there's a big collector's market for items like this. I pulled up some sold listings here of pullback cars that have sold for a lot of money. And 
I tried to pull listings of ones that were loose because the ones that are in the package are a lot easier to figure out how to look up. But as you can see, they're just little cars. You will just flip them over and look at the bottom. Usually there'll be a maker and it'll tell you the model of the car. Oftentimes it'll tell you the year. This one is a prepackaged or a packaged one I wanted to show you. The brand there is Darda. So that's one to definitely, definitely look out for. You'll see here a couple more that I've uh, pulled for you of that brand. It seems to be a really hot seller. So D-A-R-D-A pullback cars. This one sold for $45. Here is a, a lot of Disney Pixar cars. This lot of those sold for $36.99. And then another Darda. No, this wasn't a Darda. This one was a Tonka. Um, pretty cool car here. I think I might have shown this one twice. Oops. Uh, pretty cool car. So definitely worth the look up. It's worth taking the time. So this Pac-Man is something that I would have normally picked up because it's cool. It's, you know, got some pop culture to it, but it really, when I looked up how many were up, how many had sold, all the different variations, it was just not going to be worth me picking it up, which was kind of disappointing because, you know, that takes me back. Good old Pac-Man, but I can't thrift and buy based on nostalgia only. I have to make sure that it's going to be big bring in a big lot of stuff for me to sell over time. It's got to be high, a high return on investment or be a fast seller. Otherwise, I just cannot continue to buy things that aren't going to make me money or it's going to take a long time for me to get there. If you like videos like these with me going around the thrift store showing you what to pick up and what not to pick up, then I've linked a video for you right here. And this is a video that YouTube thinks that you'll enjoy. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our reselling content.